My name is Yelding Ishak, and I am the Global Solutions Lead for Liquidity Risk. In today's current climate, uh, there are many challenges that the banks face in how they manage, uh, operationally manage their liquidity risk. The list is quite extensive, but I'll just really go through a few of those which I think are deemed to be the most pertinent ones. I think firstly, in terms of, as far as managing liquidity risk, you need to have a very good appreciation in terms of uh, having full visibility of all of the cash flows, all of the positions and exposures across your enterprise. This actually today is actually is not an easy thing to do because banks obviously operate across different due restrictions and data is actually lo located in different, uh, in, on different platforms, uh, in different applications, and are, are not actually able to actually be repatriated in terms of actually perform and actually produce a consolidated view of liquidity risk. Secondly, in terms of uh, the bank needs to have a good uh, understanding uh, and a good insight in terms of uh, the assumptions that actually drive those cash flows as well. Uh, both from a liquidity point of view and from a valuation perspective as well. This is actually quite critical because in terms of how you actually model those cash flows to reflect the actual business's liquidity risk profile. And, and there's an extensive amount of work that actually banks are actually currently doing now to actually reflect uh, how best to um, address in terms of the requirements that are out there from a regulatory standpoint. I think thirdly, in terms of the other main challenge, uh, challenges that the uh, banks are actually facing, is to, is to really to understand in terms of how to bring the stress testing uh, element into the overall equation. Now we do know in terms from the Basel III regulations and other local and regional regulations itself, stress testing is a major, there's been a major emphasis on stress testing, certainly in the field of liquidity risk. And if we were to look at in terms of the, the Basel III standards, they've obviously got a very prescriptive type of scenario that is out there for the competition of LCR, but it also recommends in terms of further additional scenarios that should be generated, should be created by the institution themselves. If you were to look at in terms of, you know, you know just these three few issues over here, where, how actually can you actually um, rise, how can actually a bank rise in terms of from its data point of view to actually meet those challenges in itself? And I think the key thing is it comes right about in terms of the transparency piece, uh, they need to actually ensure that they can extract the data in a, in a timely manner. They extra, extract in terms of the right data, and that actually data is actually appropriate in terms of for actually doing any li basic liquidity risk type of reporting or from stress, test, test, stress testing. So that's where in terms of, you know, I would sort of say, as far as from an operational point of view, um, you know, where banks are, are faced for as far as challenges are concerned. Management's role in how the institution uh, stress tests its liquidity profile um, is a major feature in terms of how the regulations are concerned today. Um, what does actually management actually need to do? I mean, and you know, in answer, going back to the original question, what is the actual role in this overall process? Well, the management actually, senior management actually need to come together and to agree and define what that stress testing strategy looks like. All right? What kind of scenarios actually need to be configured uh, what kind of assumptions uh, are deemed to be in terms of plausible and reflective in terms of the business environment that they operate in. Um, they also need to ensure in terms of how this overall strategy is actually incorporated into day-to-day -day, uh, operations of managing liquidity and from, a broad, from a broad perspective. Um, it is a challenge in itself um, and actually to get that, um, to, to actually embed that within the, uh, 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 across the institution and um, the, the, um, the, the senior management uh, would be looking to, to, looking from this overall process that they're looking to embed within the, uh, within the bank overall is to actually reap and actually receive uh, actually analysis which actually will give them the pure uh, deep insight in terms of what the liquidity risk profile looks like for the bank itself. So this and actually will actually help to facilitate how they plan for liquidity and this could well be in terms of you know, refining and uh, or reviewing the contingency funding plan. It would also in terms of actually look in terms of whether there are certain business units that they continue to continue to operate in because in some respects, banks are actually looking now in terms of where they have overseas operations is actually to, to, uh, to lessen the liquidity burden in terms of those overseas operations from a funding perspective. So, you know, broadly speaking, in terms of as far as banks are concerned, is that stress testing program that they put in place needs to be obviously fully agreed. 
it needs to be implemented operationally, it needs to report at a very granular level to allow them to actually uh, achieve superior decision making when they're actually planning and managing liquidity.